So this is the neighborhood I grew up in, right in Ferguson. A friend of mine was actually shot in his driveway right there. You put drugs in the communities, put guns in the communities, you put disease in the communities, put poor food in the communities. All these things are designed to shorten your life expectancy. It's by design. It is not accidental that this is what's in the hood and this is what's over there. There's actually an active hand in making sure that we are living like this. It's all about control, money, and survival to them. Your death is not an expense to them, it's an expense to you. They're trying to make money from us, even if it's at the expense of killing us. You just die slow, your family just watches you die. The alcohol industry, fast food industries, tobacco industries target communities of color. Your health is not their main priority. They trying to keep you sick. We are in a state of emergency when it comes to our health. Keeping people sick is very lucrative. Now you want pills. Now you want dialysis. Now you want medicine. You go into the hospital on a regular to see your doctor. Everybody's getting paid except you. Big pharma and pharmaceutical companies are making billions of dollars off of all of us. As long as they can make that dollar, they don't care if you live or die. It's something about being here that's making black people sick. Everybody's getting paid, except you. You hurt. There are more dangerous and harmful chemicals and products made for women of color. It absolutely is a crisis. They don't make a dime if you don't. It's kind of like a dope gang. It is the dope gang. It's just a bigger gangster, the mob boss. You look at the hidden hand, you see that government is feeding the crisis. We're fed wrong knowledge, sides all the wrong food. It's about money over people's health. If you can control a population's access to food, you can control the person. Only about 8% of African Americans even live in communities that have a grocery store in them. Because the deep root problem is the food. Because poor diets kill more brothers than pistols. You know, we fighting for our lives. That's like Michael Bick's pit bulls. As black men, we're dying off so quickly in so many ways. It's here, pocketed in our communities. We don't want a healthy population. That is injustice, plain and simple. The powers that be are making that money at the top. They trying to kill us.